The NYPD is investigating a deadly shooting that took place on a subway train in Brooklyn. A lot of questions here. A 45-year-old man was killed after being shot in the back. Fox 5's Briella Tomasetti joins us from the Franklin Avenue station in Crown Heights with the latest. Briella, what do we know? Yeah, Dan and Tashani, well, we do have an update this morning for you. Police have just identified that victim as 45-year-old Richard Henderson, who was shot and left to die on a train that was just pulling into this station. Police have yet, though, to name the shooter or provide any sort of description of him. <coughs> Police are investigating a subway shooting in Crown Heights that left a 45-year-old man dead. Officers responded to a 911 call for a man shot on board a three train at around 8.15 last night as it pulled into the Franklin Avenue subway station. When police arrived on scene, they found Richard Henderson shot multiple times in the back and shoulder. Citizen app video shows crime scene tape and a heavy NYPD presence underground. During the aftermath, medics rushed Henderson to Kings County Hospital where he died from his injuries. The gunman took off. In late November, a 17-year-old boy and 52-year-old man were injured when a shooter opened fire on a rush hour C train in nearby Bedford-Stuyvesant. Police say that shooting was triggered by an argument between the 17-year-old victim and the gunman on the moving train as it approached the Ralph Avenue station. 20-year-old Alexander Villafana was arrested and charged with attempted murder and assault following the shooting. The victims, who were shot in the hand and ankle, were both expected to make full recoveries. According to the NYPD's year-end crime statistics, transit crime decreased by 8.2 percent this December compared to last, and by 2.6 percent for the full year. But do New Yorkers actually feel safe riding the subway? It all depends on who you ask. I don't know what to think about it because we ain't safe. That means we ain't safe down here too. Yeah, and police say at this time it's simply too early on in the investigation to pinpoint a motive. No arrests have yet been made. For now, we're live here in Crown Heights. Stand back to you. Brayla, thank you so much.